ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to Attack on Toys. Last time we were here, we were playing as the Lego men, fighting against the Buglings just to see what they could go against. But tonight, what we are doing is something a little different. We are playing as the Commandos up against the Lego men, up against another Commando faction, up against, I believe, the Toy Army. Also, up against the Buglings. So this is the way it's going to work. Each map or each uh, faction already has some defenses established and they're going to be holding off against the bugling. So it's going to be a last man standing situation. So whichever of the four factions survives wins. That's basically the idea. Now as always, if you lads find that you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy my content, if you enjoy my goofy crap, any engagements you guys leave helps this channel to grow. Likes, dislikes, hitting the bell icon and leaving comments are all great ways of getting YouTube's algorithm to push it push us to new users, allowing us to grow as a community, and I appreciate your help. If you want to come hang out with me, link in the description below for the Discord where we hang out, chat, and game with one another, so feel free to pop in and say hey. But with that said, let me go uh, to this. Uh, I think we're good. So let me upgrade these real quick. Not sure if, exp you know, going from one to the other generates more plastic or not. I have no idea of that. Just waiting for more plastic. Looks like they're already under attack. Come on. Come on. Now, I made the Buglings uh, a gray team, so they should be against everyone. And they should be behaving like they've been lately, so we should also see them not die, essentially. Oh my god, they're coming across the water. Why are our defenses already getting smacked? What the hell? Uh, medic. I don't have enough plastic for a goddamn medic. Damn it. There we go. Yeah, so these buglings are already kind of causing trouble. I think they're a little confused by who they want as a target. Uh, mostly because this whole area is a target-rich environment between four factions. Now, the rule is to survive. I never said that me nor none of the other factions are permitted to go ahead and assault one another. So that's definitely what I'm going to be doing here. Now, I just want to see something real quick. It's likely these will not respawn. Or, I'm sorry, it's likely they will not despawn, I should say. So, it'll probably come back in a few minutes. And that's what I want to test for, because I don't want to... I don't want to bother blowing them up if they're just going to come back, and I'm pretty certain they're just going to come back. Can I just draw the horde over here? Are they just going to follow me? It, um... Is that a red structure at my base? Oh, there's one of my guys. Okay. I was a little confused. I'm like, why am I... Am I under attack from behind? Did one of the red guys spawn their crap behind me? I noticed that every time I do this map, I always attack the purples first. I'm assuming it's just because they're closer. Also, these guys are a little stood nod. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, they really didn't want me getting through. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough for the purple guys or not, but we'll see. Uh, what I do want to do, though... Let's get these going. I should probably also get some ammo. I'm assuming these guys aren't moving, because they can't. I could delete some of the defensive structures, but I also feel like my infantry should be able to just kind of walk up. I mean, look at these guys. Look, they're going to the water and whatnot. Oh, dear God. The buglings cause us nothing but havoc. Oh, dear Lord. Uh, all right. Can 
enough plastic, of course. I do have a sniper in the tower. All right, cool. And those defenses are slowly coming back. Yeah, I've got ammo. I've got ammo, yeah. So let me go see about annoying the hell out of the purples. Just because I'm that kind of jerk. Ooh, you know what? I have an idea. I don't have enough money. But I have an idea. I also want to see, did the bugling nest respawn? Yes, it did. So, yeah, there's no point in me breaking these damn things, considering they're just going to keep respawning. And I'm really trying to piss off as many of them as possible, draw their attention. I think they're just so over-enthusiastic with targets that they're just trying to shoot any... Or they're trying to bite anything that moves. And I'm just trying to keep their attention on me so we can lead them right back to the purples. Because I think these buglings are more interested in... Oh my god. I think they're more interested in me than they are in the purples. Which is a problem for me. Which is a major problem for me. I think I just died. Oh my god, they have tanks in the water. But there is a whole horde going straight for them, so I'm happy about that. Uh, what I do need, though, is a bunch of these. But I cannot afford a bunch of them right now, which sucks. What I need, though, is money. I need lots of money, and somehow I'm losing money right now. But it looks like our defenses are, be are like, holding, so that's really good. Our front defenses were kind of questionable, but now they're fine, I think. Uh, how much is a medic again? 3,000, that's fine. Hopefully he can actually hold. I'm also not sure if I can go ahead and hurt the purples at all, because they slapped me the second I showed up. But as per usual, I do just want to annoy them, because, well, they're closer. They're spawning robots? The purples can spawn robots? I didn't know that was possible. At least not that I remember. Alright, we're just going to keep, uh... Okay. There we go. Damn it, they got me. I'm just trying to do as much damage as possible, and then, you know, let the buglings go through and wipe them out. I don't even think... I did give them builders, right? I believe I gave them builders. Are they building? Uh, yes, so they're building. Yeah, each side should have builders. Yeah, the yellows have builders too, which I... Doesn't look like they're dealing with too much resistance from the buglings either. Uh, the reds, I think with their mortars, are actually doing a lot of work. So, I think... I think I made a goof... How the hell are you... Why is the toy army able to spawn in commandos? What the frig? But anyway, um... It looks like the buglings are getting stuck on something over here. Something under the map, maybe? Not sure. Weird. Now, how is my guys holding up right now? We're pretty good. Like a probably should have maybe spread out their spawners a little bit more. Maybe left a few more of them. There's not as many of them as I would have liked. So next time I try this, I gotta keep that in mind. Uh, 
There we go. All right, so we're going to just try to net us some more cash. I need another 25. There we go. Oh, yeah, you guys are still follow me, huh? Oh, yeah, I need, like, a lot of money because I planned on using a helicopter. I don't think the purples have any AA as of yet. But I could be totally wrong. I have no idea. How much is a plane? I think like a. Hold on a second. Uh, 22. All right, so I gotta wait to get more money. That medic ain't doing his job. The fence just came apart. All right, cool. So they went ahead. They're defending. We're doing good. I would love it if the buglings would actually follow me. Like, they sort of follow me, but I think this map confuses them, honestly. I'm, on, I'm not really sure. Maybe they're getting confused. But right now, I kind of just want to use them to piss off the purples. I'm just not sure if this map is throwing off their pathing, and that's why we're having the trouble that we're having. I, damn it, I hit the wall. Damn it, I'm out of ammo. Oh, I'm getting stuck. Freaking bugglings. Now I'm hoping... There we go. They're going to start going for that wall. But with that wall broken, hopefully this horde will actually try to push through. Maybe. Granted, it could also be a situation like what we saw previously with uh, the other episode where we did the Lego Troopers. And it could very likely be a situation where their defenses are just going to keep coming back. Despite the fact that, uh, you know, they're wiped out. Alright, cool. So... Got those power stations up. Uh, we're maxed out on our income, so everything that we're making money on, that's it. That's all we can do. That's just a matter of waiting for more cash. Which, our cash flow is actually pretty substantial. Like, it is quickly increasing. Oh dear god, there's a lot of these little buggers, aren't there? Alright, so I want to try to lead them. Because it's weird, too. I think the defenses are throwing them off, so their AI is like, Alright, cool, we're going to go this way. And how the hell did a yellow get out here? Let me just yoink all this plastic. I'm walking into something. I have a couple of rockets. That's good. How much you want to bet that wall is back? Yeah. Yeah, so I have a feeling that I goofed. And by making this a... Uh, skirmish I may have goofed I don't understand why oh my god that's disgusting I've n I didn't even think of that so you can mix the Lego it oh my god that's insane let me get damn it 47,000 yeah so what I might want to do maybe after this recording maybe I don't know Restart and switch this over to toy box mode. I'm not sure if that's going to affect their AI at all or not, so I don't really know. I may also want to adjust the amount of spawns for the buglings. So tell me in the comment section, what do you guys think? Wait, hold on. Uh, 40,000, that's cool. Just trying to draw as many of them over here. Seems like they really like helicopters. So we can just start pelting the hell out of their walls. Are we getting a nice little following? I'm 
going to break a hole straight through their defenses. Where are my bugglings? Damn it. Yeah, that didn't go to the plan, like, at all. I was really hoping that they'd follow me. And I was hoping that they would just start running across the bridge. Instead, yeah, so I'm definitely going to have to readjust the map spawn, uh, the bug spawns. Because I put a bunch of spawns near me hoping that they would, you know, span out. And instead, they're just assaulting me. And they're coming in greater forces up against me. Which, I don't appreciate that too much. Oh god, I want this plastic, but I can't get it. Okay. How about the reds? How are they faring? Because I could have sworn I gave them a bunch of bugling spawns. Can I afford a vehicle? Yeah, I can afford this. There we go. So, it looks like the reds are just mortaring the hell out of them. Yeah, can I just annoy them? Oh, wait. Oh, their rockets uh, can be a problem for my helicopter. Okay. I kind of forgot that was a thing. So, essentially, my game plan is just make their lives harder, you know, without getting shot down. That would be ideal. Damn it. Yeah, the robots killed me. So it seems like the reds are getting a bit more buggling resistance, but they're not actually... They're not getting too much trouble. That's what I'm trying to get at. There, there's not a lot of trouble their way. Um, so they don't have too much to worry about. Uh, let's go ahead and get Tomcat and see what the yellows are up to. Yeah, so for some reason, all of the yellows uh, bugglings are coming from me, and I don't know why. That's nonsense. Oh, okay. Oh, they put a bunch... Oh, well, actually, no, some of those defenses I put there. Um, so they're not really building a whole crazy amount. Not as much as some other factions are, but they're trying to hold up as well. It just seems like we're the ones taking the most resistance here. So, yeah. Uh, I gotta figure out a few things. I gotta figure out why the hell defensive structures despawn or don't despawn. Because for this game mode, that would be really nice if they could. I'm thinking maybe if I do it in toy box mode, they will despawn, but I'm not entirely certain of that. Oh god, they're breaking through. I need ammo. Let me fall back, grab some ammo. Uh, I'm going to try to get maybe some better weapons, too. I can get, like, a T-90, I guess, the tank. Not sure what tank that would be. Uh, I could also try... I never tried the AK. We got the Deagle. Um... Do this. Plastic gun is just a medic gun. For some reason, one faction that doesn't have a machine, uh, flamethrower. Well, one only faction that has a flamethrower is the toy army. That's what I meant to say. For a grenade launcher, why not? All right, there we go. Alright, so my game plan is we're just going to shell the hell out of the enemy. I've got all these weapons and all this firepower. And all this ammunition. Maybe by some sheer stroke of luck, I can draw enough of these buggling buttholes. We can get them to follow me. We can go annoy the purples, but it actually looks like the purples are managing to push out of their base. 
So that could pose a problem for me. I think so far the purples and the reds are the only ones actually able to push out at the moment. So, with that said, let me see, how many buglings do I have following me? Uh, I got a nice little cluster. Not as much as I... Oh, God. Yeah. That did nothing. And we went airborne and did absolutely nothing to their defenses. The buglings are rushing them, but honestly, with those robots there and the tanks, I... I don't have any real uh, hope for them. I think the buglings are just going to get wiped out. Uh, what else can I do? If I spawn a bunch of units, uh, that's just going to result in them being wiped out either by the buglings or by the purples. So that's just going to be too chaotic. Honestly, I think what I'm going to do is before I actually take a serious crack at this... I think I'm going to go ahead and reset the spawns and then try to figure out why these things are not breaking the way they're supposed to. So for now, ladies and gents, that is where we're going to leave this one for for tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. As always, if you enjoy the channel, if you enjoy this content, if you enjoy my goofy crap, any engagements you guys leave, helps this channel to grow and get out to new users. And I appreciate your help. If you guys want to come hang out with me, link in the description below for the Discord. But uh, likes, dislikes, bell icon, and comments are great ways of helping the algorithm and helping us to grow. Uh, like I said, Discord link in the description. But with that said, I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Have a fantastic night. See you all on the next one. Have a good night, people. Later.